What's in store for things we return the second time around? Rita Braver has the answer. Did you ever wonder what happens to things you return? Or how about the stuff that brick and mortar stores or online merchandisers can't sell? These are chairs? Brand new chairs, right? What is this? Pil my pillow? pillow? That's right. It's literally everything from diapers to dinosaurs and <laughs> anything in between. <laughs> Or this grieve knows what will happen to all this stuff. You've got some paper goods here. You've got He's a vice president of Inmar, which has 25 facilities and 5,000 employees around the country devoted to processing and reselling goods for what's known as the secondary market. And you're thinking, this is juicy stuff. I can get money, rid of this. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Truckloads of stuff arrive and leave this Winston-Salem warehouse every day. Much of it is merchandise that traditional outlets just can't unload or outdated seasonal products. But a third of it is customer returns, mostly from online purchases. A typical brick-and-mortar store will, will return about 8 percent of their sales. For e-commerce, that could be 25 to 40 percent in some cases. Inmar provides a service for companies inspecting and repackaging return goods that do go right back on the shelves. But a lot doesn't make it. What happens to that stuff? Oh, that's, that's my favorite kind of stuff. That's, <laughs> that's where we get to liquidate it. We're going to examine it. We're going to make sure it's perfect. And we're gonna make Inmar CEO David Mount says that the secondary market, selling goods of all kinds, has doubled in the past 10 years to $600 billion. In fact, there's so much of that stuff coming back from either e-commerce or stores that you could take all of the units that we process in one year and build a bridge from New York to Tokyo. The customers can be online sellers, outlet malls, discount or dollar stores, bodegas, small mom and pop shops, even flea market vendors. And a lot of them come to Las Vegas twice a year for a big trade show. Let's try to make some deal. Absolutely. So, of course, Curtis Grieve is there, too, looking to buy, sell, or reconnect. I mean, I sell to Brady. With longtime clients like Brady Churches. He's CEO of Home Buys. So what do you want for these? Based in Columbus, Ohio, with four discount stores around the state. We love to buy the treasures and pass the savings on to our customers. That's the most fun. Well, what's over here? On the, what's, what's, what's this? Over we here? watched him snag close to 400 jackets in just a few minutes. These are a buyback. All returned to a major retailer. I'll buy all those. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I yep. appreciate it. Okay. These jackets are high-quality jackets. They're a major brand. I don't want to tell you the brand, but there's a horse and buggy involved in the brand. I'll tell you that. He also got shirts to go with the jackets. How many of these do you have? We have 4,000. 4,000? Mm -hmm. If I took them all, what could I buy them for? Retail, $99. He paid eight bucks a piece. I have an adrenaline rush right now. I feel very, I feel like I just won a million bucks. But nothing beats the recent thrill of landing some $2,000 wedding gowns and selling them for $199 each. We even had some women come in the store and say, I don't even have a boyfriend right now, but for $199, I'm going to buy this dress today. Almost all of these products will find buyers, and what doesn't sell is often donated to charity. But there are still some goods that end up in incinerators or tossed along with other garbage at places like this landfill in Burlington County, New Jersey. It's been here for a while, about 30-some years. Kevin Lyons, who teaches supply chain management at Rutgers University, says it's the same problem year after year. The number that I keep hearing is that there's something like 4 billion tons of unused goods that still ends up getting dumped in places like this. That's correct. Instead of packaging it and maybe possibly getting it to the folks that might need it, it's uh, easier for them just to get it off their books. Have things improved over the years? It has improved a little, but not enough to handle the glut. But Curtis Grieve believes 
that companies like his will continue to expand. A lot of this product is is really good product. You know, it's 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 as good as new. In some cases, it is new. As more and more buyers and sellers realize that one company's trash is other people's treasure.